We are taking over Biafran territories starting from Anambra on May 30th, BNG claims. The Biafran National Guide, BNG, has vowed to host the Biafran military flag of authority by 30th of May 2021. According to the group, the activity will signify the total takeover of Biafran territories, which will start from Anambra State. In a statement signed by Colonel Insikak Akman, head of BNG, BSMCA, the group also said that it has banned the Nigerian flag from being hosted or displayed in any part of Biafra territory. The BNG said that recent activities of the unknown gunmen in the southeast would amount to kindergarten compared to the mayhem they will unleash on the Nigerian state, including its parastatals and installations located in Biafra territories. The BNG also said that it will not allow the governorship election to hold in Anambra state come 2023 or whereabouts adding that the state will no longer be governed in any form affiliated to the Nigerian state. After extensive deliberations and consultations, the Biafra Supreme Military Council of Administration, BSMCA, comprising of BNG Ed, the provincial adjutants and acting administrators of the Biafran Army, Biafran Navy, Biafran Air Force, and Biafran Dictative Force vows to host the Biafran military flag of authority, which will officially signify the change from transition to provisional government and the total takeover of Biafra ter territories beginning from the uh, month of May 30th, 2021. The BSMCA stated that the Biafran National Guide BNG will kickstart our activities in defunct Anambra State, emphasizing that the slated November governorship poll will not be allowed to hold and the defunct state shall non-stop be disrupted from being governed in any form affiliated to the Nigerian state. The Nigerian security forces must desist from authorizing arrest, patrol, checkpoint or show of uniform in Biafra territory. Also, this is to for one that the Nigerian flag is therefore banned and must not be seen, hosted, or displayed in any part of Biafran territory, or there shall be severe consequences against those who flout the order. Depicting the recent reactivities of the so called unknown gunmen as kindergarten compared to the mayhem that shall be unleashed by the Biafran National Guide on the Nigerian state, including its parastatas and installation located in Biafra territories. Well, on this note, I would say this Biafran, they are beginning to pass their uh, uh, bill. And in a nutshell, I think the Biafra should take it gently and easy because they are still under the uh, Nigeria or APC administration, because they are still under the Nigerian administration. But notwithstanding, I believe through this secession or referendum, uh, it's like a wake up call for the Nigerian government to do the needful positively. But according to the Biafran, the uh, Biafran Guild uh, National Guide, they are very ready, all female thumbly. They are very, very ready. They are ready to hold their flag and also uh, uh, have a uh, Biafran government all the way from the uh, Biafran Army, Biafran Air Force, Biafran Nava. They are planning so huge. Well, also this is to for one that the Nigerian flag is therefore banned and must not be seen, hosted or displayed in any part of Biafran territory. Or there shall be severe consequences against those who flout the other. Well, the Biafran are very, very ready now. They are even talking about the Nigerian flag not to be seen in any Biafran territory. Well, this is undespeakable. But notwithstanding, I believe everybody with the agitation, you have the opinion to life, you have opinion and freedom of speech. Well, uh, according to the Biafran guide, uh, National Guide, they are depicting that the recent activities of the so-called unknown uh, gunmen as, as a kindergarten compared to mayhem that shall be unleashed. That means that mayhem they will unleash for anybody that flouts the order will be like a university student compared to uh, the unknown government. They call it kindergarten oppression. 
and they would unleash by the Biafra National Guard on the Nigerian state, including its parastatus and installation located in Biafra territories. This vengeance shall be launched from defunct Anambra state for the arbitrary, arbitrary, uh, or something violation of the fundamental freedom and human rights of these Biafran prisoners of conscience for over 15 years. Beseeching the Biafran Transitional Parliament to approve the list of administrators for the various departments of the Biafran Army, Biafran Navy, Biafran Air Force, and Biafran Detective Force, which was forwarded for screening to the upper and lower chambers. The Council called on every Biafran men and women still serving the Nigerian State Security Forces to resign henceforth as the grace given will expire after the hosting of the Biafran military flag of authority. The Council implores the people of Biafra to be patient and tolerant as events unfold because it shall become uncomfortable and severe, but these are price that must be paid for our freedom. Furthermore, this is to inform all and sundry from 27th to 30th of October 2021, a live broadcast of the Biafra National Guard shall be delivered by the provincial government where the future of the sovereign state of Biafra shall be unveiled, it claimed. Wow. <laughs> I hope you people are, are listening. I hope you can see that Biafran are very, very ready, much more ready than any other ethnic group or any other republic. Like the Yodudua also have been campaigning, you know, protesting all over the uh, southwestern states. The Yoruba land, they are also doing their own rally. The Biafran has kickstarted for a longer time now, before now, and they are very ready. Well, let's go to the comment section and quickly let's know what people are, you know, talking about this. Someone says, but it is not wrong to be announcing our plans earlier before we carry them out. Can't Biafra keep their secret? Uh, Somebody is replying this. He says, I just tire out. The talk and announcement is what is causing their problem of the so-called shoot at sight order. Yes, that's true. The government of the day wouldn't want any secessionists to take over power or to separate. But they believe every agitators or every uh, secessionist you know, clamoring for referendum are all terrorists because they are planning to jeopardize their governance. Biafra's expectation will never be cut off in Jesus' name. Somebody is saying that. Somebody is saying resounding thunderous amen to that. So many Igbos and a few uh, southwesterners uh, or south south or south region in particular, they are of the support and opinion that Biafra must take its place. I hope you people are not thinking and not all you have said because when you start causing problem and you are you are killed everyone will say you are innocent unknown government attack is kindergarten compared to what you will do and i pray i will be alive to remind you of this statement in as much as i don't support what is going on in nigeria i also want a peaceful resolution of northern and southern nigeria and not all this biafran thing ah somebody says shut up we don't want to live in the same country with you vandas is that too hard to understand? Well, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. Well, I believe uh, the agit agitation is a wake up call. Biafra stance, uh, Odudua stance is in God's hands because we cannot predict what is going to happen. 2023 is still more in you know, ahead of us. Let's be careful with our words and let's be careful with whatever we do. Well, lastly, let's start with the police and army high command in various eastern states. The time to liberate ourselves from these bloodthirsty worshippers of Allah Akbar is now. No one will practice that demonic religion in Biafra land. Either so-called religion, either uh, Christianity or Islamic, uh, it's not supposed to be a problem of governance or administration in the government of democracy. Well, I would like you to share your thoughts and, you know, don't forget to share this news so that others can also be aware. Thanks for listening.